Hello everyone, maybe you've seen this before. You're presented with a word like this and asked to state the color of the font. If you haven't seen this before, you should check out my other video, How Fast Is Your Brain? The Stroop Test, and have a go at this task. I'll put a link to it in the description. Anyway, you're told to say the color of the font, but first you pause for a moment as this is harder than you thought it would be and then eventually state the color. That pause you took is called the Stroop Effect, popularized by John Ridley Stroop in 1935. Essentially, it's an interference in your mind between two conflicting pieces of information, the word and the color of the word, that causes a lap in cognition. Put another way, it's the reason why it isn't hard to read this word, or this word, or identify this color, but it's hard to state the color of this word. Okay, that makes sense, but why isn't it hard to read this word even though it's a different color? I can easily read that it says purple. Well, there are three leading theories on why this happens, speed of processing theory, selective attention theory, and the automatic word recognition hypothesis. Speed of processing theory suggests that it is easier for your brain to read words than to state the color of something, such as a square. Similarly, selective attention theory states that processing and naming colors require a lot more attention than reading words. Furthermore, the automatic word recognition hypothesis suggests that people just read words automatically and it is a function that is impossible to turn off. This obviously proves problematic when trying to identify the color of words and not the words themselves. However, reading that this word says purple is relatively easy. Okay, clearly it is way easier to read words than to determine colors. So much so that your brain automatically reads before even thinking about colors. But how does this all come into play when doing the Stroop test? So, to visualize, when you're told to state the color of this word, your brain automatically reads the word first. Then your brain realizes that it needs to identify the color, so it switches to that task. It then proceeds to process the color, which takes a lot of attention. And then, finally, you successfully state the color, hopefully. This takes a while. It has actually been shown in John Ridley Stroop's original research that people take 74% longer to state the color of a word than to state the color of a generic square. This is not surprising as the process we just observed involved word recognition and task switching before our minds could even begin to think about color processing. Through analyzing all this research, one must wonder what the implications are for other situations like this in real life. Is our ability to switch tasks really that bad? Can our brain really be slowed down that much when given conflicting information at the same time? It is definitely something to think about and has some serious video potential for the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.